Yeah, but these flats are hammered. Columbia pulls the machete, starts to go hack on this dude, accidentally chops Maxi. This guy's pioneer with the Melbourne graffiti scene. How, How you doing, lad? Nice to meet you. What are you doing, lad? Piecing up now? It's all abandoned now. So these are all abandoned, eh? Every single one of them's boarded. Kids playing, you can see them playing. Syringes everywhere, look. Look at that. Straight away, syringe. Syringe. Look how many there are. I'm Spanian. I was raised in the housing areas of Sydney City. Spent most of my youth and adult life in prison. And after a total of 13 years, I'm free and I'm out and about flying around, sussing out the hoods all over the world. It's Oge. young father has been stabbed to death outside his girlfriend's South Yarra apartment. An 18-year-old tradie has been stabbed to death on a crowded St Kilda foreshore. A man who police feared had a gun is in custody following a tense standoff in Windsor. Sniffer dogs and specialist police have been deployed to crack down on crime in St Kilda. And more than $150,000 worth of drugs have been seized by detectives determined to clean up St Kilda streets. All right, everyone, welcome back into the hood. We're back in Melbourne, Melbourne's most notorious suburbs, part three. I'm excited for this one. These are the hoods I love, inner city hoods, inner city projects. We're going today to South Melbourne, South Melbourne flats and the surrounding South Melbourne areas, which are notorious areas, St Kilda, Pran, Windsor. Melbourne is full of inner city flats. There's many suburbs, Flemington, Collingwood, Fitzroy. Out of all of them, they all have a, a long notorious history, right? But lately, the worst inner city flats are South Melbourne. Everyone says, bro, you gotta get to South Melbourne. It's been going crazy last 10 years. That place is chaos. So we're going down there now. We're catching a tram. It's like two stops on a tram, like four minutes. We could probably walk it. But I'm saving my calories for the trek, lad. It's midday Sunday, so we're here on the weekend. There's a rapper from there. His name's Little Jace. Meeting him and a couple of his boys, I think. He's going to take us up into the projects, the big towers. Tell us the yarns, this and that. Let's go, bruh. It's full chockers. Look, bruh. All right. That was literally like a three-minute... A tram ride. I think we can still see where we got on the tram. Just down there. I think this is the tram stop down here. Ah, oh, there's like, he brought like 15 people along, lad. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. good. Little Jace. Yeah, Little Jace. Out, promoting myself, that's what I gotta do. But <laughs> from Paran, full yep. disclaimer. Not a South Melbourne boy, got some South Melbourne boys with me though. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, spent a bit of time in South Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Dawn. when we oh, spent yeah. a lot of time. What's your name? Toe. Toe, Toe. Spent a lot of time growing up there too, man, just running a muck. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah so we'll but South there. Melbourne from where you grew up, Pran, yeah. it's same hood, it's they're, close they're by. They're different hoods, but they're all connected because there's only a couple of schools that everybody goes to. Yeah, yeah. We don't really beef. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pretty much all together yep. because of the friendships. Obviously, there yep. are some people that don't like each other, happens in every hood. It's supposed to. It's not a hood if it's not yeah, like it's that, not, lad. But majority of the time, everyone's connected, bro. You just know everybody. And the Mecca for me, it's like all roads lead to Paran. That was always yo, the yo, Mecca yo. because of Chapel Street. It's yeah. a two kilometer strip. World famous for the Because I heard of it. That's why I'm asking yeah, Chapel Street. Fashion. Yeah. They might want to argue like Fitzy and all that. Shout out to the Fitzy boys. Well. <laughs> Fitzy, but yeah. It's different. Like yeah, it's yeah. all nightclubs because there's two sections to Paran and Chapel. There's yo. the nighttime. And then there's the daytime. Yep, yep. And they're two different worlds. Yeah. Graffiti is a big thing in Melbourne, yeah. eh? Me and my cousin started one of the biggest yeah. crews in Melbourne. Yeah. TKO. Yeah. We yeah. actually have some of Melbourne's best writers. Oh, yeah? Toe, Spose. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah mad. You know, like, yeah. it's like full it's like like, a couple of OG writers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah hectic, yeah. hectic. We, that was a big, big, big thing in our time. And um, so we'll definitely be showing you some walls. Oh, yeah. All Melbourne graffiti, lad. I've got to show you. You know, the world famous Melbourne graffitis. So this is our line. We used to basically back on trams, like if, but the old school ones, you could back on them. Yeah. And we just go, because sometimes they're packed and you're like, yeah, I'll just jump on the back and you just kick back and you yeah, go yeah. down, pop off. It's hard to do that now because of the way they make them. We're yeah. going to go Raglan Street first. One yeah. of the first housings that we were in was, yep. uh, South, was South Melbourne, yeah. Raglan Street. Oi, yeah, we're doing lad, doing. It's a little flat, rich history. Yep. Then we'll go down to Park Street, Park Towers. Still in South Melbourne? Yep. yep. They're very close to each other. It's similar to Glee, Redford, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. We'll go to Dorcas Street Flats, which is going to be a good one. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll take from there. And then we'll nice. go to St Kilda, Winter, Paran. I've heard South Melbourne Flats 
have been real bad lately. Yeah. Amongst the worst flats in Melbourne. They have, it's pretty cooked, you know, obviously there's been, they've got their stories, it's... Yeah, mad, mad. Yeah. So some of the boys here are from South Melbourne? Yeah. yeah. Yep, some of the boys here from yep, South mad, Melbourne, mad. Andre. Just very, uh, the culture's really, obviously cafes, coffees, long black, shout out to Columbia yep. with the long black. <laughs> He's mate through Columbia, by the way, my mate. He's not Columbia. <laughs> And my ghost hunting and that. We're gonna get him on the long blacks. <laughs> you know, you got the pockets of um, yeah. every flat. You know, so there's three main flats. We'll go through all of them. You know, mad, mad. one of the flats, Dorcas Street, is abandoned now. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's boarded up. The whole thing. Yeah. Really? So I'm gonna. Um, it's getting knocked down or something? Or? Yeah, bro. Yeah. There's a bit of this gentrification that happens in. It's happening, bro. Is that happening throughout Melbourne or just yeah, here? Man. Everywhere. And really? I'm shattered because in Paran, they knocked down a, like half of it. Oh, that's it. And I was there the other day, man, and I just felt. I was just sad, bro. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, a part of us has just been ripped. Yeah, I know, know ex exactly you know how you feeling? feel. That's that's the feeling when any hood gets knocked down. I said that before. Man. It's like you don't want to say it's a bad thing because it's a good thing it if is. they're in, you know, they're like to society, it's a good thing. Yeah. But to us, it's like that's every yarn that now, I've got. That's right. Now the stories, like, that's are, my, yeah. the stories are gone and it's just in my head. That's how the whole Sydney is becoming too. Whole Waterloo's getting knocked down. And it's like after that, what do you tell people? There used to be this thing and yeah. it used to be fun. Uh, it's, it would, yeah. like, imagine that, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Lucky I've got like. You know what? Shoes. Lucky, yes. And lucky, this is one of the things I said when I do this. It documents because I'm telling you. Most hoods that we go through, say 15 years from now, I promise they won't be there. So everyone will be looking back at into the hood to remember the old Australia, the true Australian culture, underground Sydney, City, Melbourne, City stuff, lad. It's oge. That's what that's what I see it as. Is this is going to be part of history. Hopefully, 20 years you can still see it and be like, that was Paran, that was South Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the best. Dog in the trolley, lad. Yeah, portable surveillance. They got him here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah like um, Darwin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't do them in Sydney? No, nah, no, nah, they don't have those in Sydney. Do those ones talk to you though? No. No, no, no. See the towers, yeah. That's Park Towers. This is like comparable to when I done the episode in Sydney, um, Surrey Hills, Waterloo, Redfern. This is compar c comparative. They're actually both south. So that's South Sydney as well in Sydney, Redfern, South City, and this is South too. And it's a similar setup, except a lot more shops here. A lot better shops too, our ratty shops in Redfern Street. Also, disclaimer, nowhere near as big, like the, that, section, oh, yeah. that section that you guys have got, yeah, way, yeah, yeah. way bigger, way bigger. Yeah, yeah. This is more, s but separated, yeah, eh? Separate. Yeah, like a building here and a building there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the boys here, old school Viet boy, OG from Paran. Yep. He ended up getting murdered out here. Oh, really? It was on the news. He ended up um, getting his uh, throat sliced. No, no way. Yeah, someone ran up behind him. Just here? Yeah, it was along here somewhere. I don't know, apparently a robbery gone wrong. A young boy. Dead like, set. Yeah, like, shout out to Ricky. There was Ricky. Is a OG, Ricky. One of the first guys I met when I was in Paran. Old school Viet. It was sad, man. Yeah, good guy. One of the top guy. OG. On the, on the main street here, you're yeah, saying? Yeah, it was like 3, 3 a.m. in the morning. Far out. That was a couple of years ago. Out of the areas that we're going, what's the cultural makeup of the people? For us, it was every nationality, bro. Oh, was it? Yeah, it, yeah, Like, yeah. we had every Asian you can think of. A lot of wogs, man. We had uh, Turk boys, Lebo boys, yeah. so it's Italians. Just, it's as mixed as you can get. It, I would say it was, I always say it's like, we're like all nations, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's what made us back in the day so strong, because we weren't just one nationality. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then because of the different nationals. But what about now? Right the now, ethnic makeup now. It's still a little bit like that, probably less Asians. A bit more African because the, they've had their immigrations and yep, you know yep. they've been coming. Also a lot of Africans There's, moved to these yeah, towers back in as the well. Days, back in the days wasn't as many Africans except yep. down in um, North Melbourne, yep. Flemington. That's really where they were. Yep. But now, pretty much Africans everywhere. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. It's so diverse. I always say we never saw racism. We just saw poor. We were all poor. That was the nationality we were. Yeah, yeah. And we, do, we were all just united as one, so we yeah. spoke the same language, no money. All right, so on Raglan Street now, these are the first flats we're coming up to. Oh, so these are small complexes. Yeah. Very tight-knit community. Yep, yep. So this is Raglan. This is where um, me and my cousins grew up. This His, his mum had uh, an apartment here. They still do. Man, we had some good times here. A lot of punch-ons, just with the local kids. Oh, one yeah? One that we learned how to do one-on-ones. These are all yeah. houses, obviously. Yeah, what, what's the nature of the people that live here? Oh, 
Oh, all sorts, man. All sorts, like Jace yeah. was saying before, yeah. yeah. Definitely all sorts. This little section here, we set up like basketball rings. Yeah. And we just be playing one on one all day, every day. Yeah. Um, just getting into it with the local boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, punch ons, etc. Just be able to find. Running a muck, bro. Yo, yo, yo. But yeah. like this main section was where we kick it, man. Oh, he's all chilled here in the middle, huh? Yeah. 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 And there was like hundreds of kids back in the day that like lived yeah. here, so everyone used to kick it. Yeah, yeah. It's either this square or the, the next square down there. One of the boys here got his um, crib shot up when we were young. He was older. Yeah. Apparently just missed him. He wanted the free balls and that. Yeah. Oh, all the news came? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know what they did. It was a ride by, a walk by, whatever, but... Popped a fucking couple of shots into his crib. Rumour was that he was on the couch and shit was just flying past his head, hitting the brick walls That's inside it. the crib. See those so, see the brown bricks? Yeah. It looks like that inside. It's oh, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just bricks. Yeah. It's not even rendered. No way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so people live down here as well. Oh, people live down here? Yeah, like you can see. Yeah, hey, look. It looks like jazz. Like. Oh, that, you mean that's their doors? I thought you meant here. I thought you meant people live there. <laughs> people live here too, yeah. Maybe they are. So that's some of their doors. They're spewing, like. Yeah, it's not a nice. Look at that. Imagine that's your door, lad. If you got dramas with people, that's the worst door to have. <laughs> True? Yeah. See, look how easy you can get got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the front side of the flats, I think. Main street, middle of the flats, front entrance. Oh, look. More parts of syringes here. Uh, Wait, where's the other one? This is, this is the, the one? loaded one. This is the one we were going to put yeah. the top Oh, yeah? Did you like a ball? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good trolley. It's got a bit of blood. <laughs> Alright, what are these flats? Park Street. Park Towers. Park Towers. This is the full Melbourne aesthetic that I think of. Yeah, yeah. The basketball court, the little park outside, and then the Morbid Towers. Brown on brown with light blue windows. It's like a hospital. And see, look, that's where we are in respect to the city. I know in the GoPro that looks a million miles away, but it's like five minutes away. I was saying the, the, the bars, the framing on the outside, stop people opening it up, uh, opening the windows and jumping out. People used to do that, jump yeah. out of here, yeah. yeah. Well, these are hammered, lad. <laughs> straight here, this, this, at each door, even on the other side, straight bins and it stinks, look. Trolley's full of garbage. Oh yeah, that's the entrance. Go on, mate. Hey, see you, mate. Oh, yeah. Is this the hay for any of Yeah? There, not anymore, mate. Yeah, you know? Why? What was it like then? South Melbourne's another f***ing Turak now, mate. You know? Oh, is that? This <laughs> is, 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 is the real deal here now. Turak's the rich area. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's still... Yeah, it's Which just... Guys would be 10, 20 years ago was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the flats were hectic. It's the whole thing's yet these windows, mate. Were they? Another place, right? Say that shit. Nah. Say that one more time. Come here. How'd you answer that phone? City Mall. You kill me, kill me, kill me. Ah, shit. Hey, it's Andre. He gave us answers. <laughs> it's uh, it's Smokos. <laughs> Let us in, bro. There's security in these flats too, like uh, in Waterloo. Look, they watch. And I wonder if they got dramas like uh, in Sydney. I just got busted. Come on. He knows us. Yeah, he knows us. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're sweet. One of us knows me. Yeah. All right, so we've had like big dramas to get in the flats and the uh, security down in the thing. Seen the camera. Same story as Waterloo. And there's a lad here behind us tell, telling us he's gonna call the coppers on us. Still filming. Still filming now. If he films the building, he's committing an offence. Yeah. This <laughs> video's <laughs> one of the, like an OG, Paran boy, like like everywhere boy, like, you know what I mean, everyone knows me you know? He let us, yeah. he let us in, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in here. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> hey, boy. Thank, hey, you, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. With your flats, and you get a mad view. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's hectic. How high are these? 30 stories I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, and we're on the like, 20th or something, eh? Yeah. yeah. 14th. 14th. Yeah. Construction side, eh? It's usually when something fucked up. Oh, yeah. 
Lucky I've gotten used to heights. Six months ago, I'd have been shooting myself here. I'd have been like this. Oh, you're doing it, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. I can handle it now. So you can see the Formula One race track from here. Oh, can you? Yeah, that's that's the track, Albert Park Place. Oh, yeah, yeah. So all the events, as you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, my little yarn. But yeah, you know, a lot of family communities, really good people. Maybe yeah. in the lift was spewing, eh? Hey, Oh look, whole apartments bought it up here. What's that water called? Port Phillip? That's Port Phillip. Oh yeah. Oh, St Kilda Beach is down there? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Look at the windows. Like prison windows. So this is what it looks like when you come out of the lift. Like this. That's what, that's what it is, bro. Rubbish on the floor, hammered. Floors look like they don't get cleaned. Yeah, bro, these flats are hammered. What's your food just dumped, rubbish dumped in the in the staircases? Oh, we're heading to Dorcas Street Flat. Yeah. Coventry, Dorcas Street Flats. Coventry Dorcas Flats, Street Flats. South Melbourne. Um, it's all abandoned now, so as you'll see. Oh, these are all abandoned, these eh? Are boarded up, we'll take you through. These are mad. These are in a mad spot. Yeah. You'd have been cheering to have these. Yeah. Right, right at the step of the doorstep of the city. Mad shops just there. Mad, mad yeah. Location. These would have been sick. No wonder they boarded them up, selling them off to some developers, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, every single one of them's boarded. These out of out of the three we're seeing here in South Melbourne are the closest, like the brother, the city's just there. And the mad shops are just there. It's like the perfect position. This so you can't climb the balcony. Bro, it's scary dark in there, but look in here. I can't see anything. This is where Maxie lives. Yep. The boys. Okay. Oh, Baba. They're having parties here, mate. Parties here, go. I shot my first official music video. Good in, job. In here, yeah, it's called Seeker You Shall Find. Yeah. I shot it in there. This place is just syringed out, man. Like. Yeah. Well, be careful, there's actually yeah. sharp. Yeah. No caps on them. I wonder why they're selling them though, like maintenance in them, cleaning them up, and they're still very usable. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the building. Oh, so there's still a, a park area that's getting used in between it all. Yeah. Wow, look at you. See, there's kids playing here. A park, look. So it's not like the whole complex is, it's just that's in still, the- That's still active. But that's hammered, look at that. Yeah, that's still active. That reminds me of when I was in Bulgaria. <laughs> Mad Max. That's still but, all, but the, all the low rises are abandoned. Look, kids playground here. Kids playing, you can see them playing. Syringes everywhere, look. Just the bang. Look, look at that. Straight away, syringe. Blood in it, cap off, syringe. Full of blood, at least that's got the cap on. Syringe, syringe, look how many there are. Look, blood, syringe, syringe, kids playing. Jay Sport drugs are still getting used around. Still a lot of heroin. Heroin still? Uh, obviously ice is and ice, yeah. probably competing big time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, heroin's definitely because in Sydney, heroin, just because of how expensive it is and how much they have a heroin habit. Is it, it, is it it's, up? Yeah, yeah, it's just, nowadays it's 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 a lot harder for criminals to make money gotcha. compared to like early 2000s, yeah, yeah. late 90s. Yeah, yeah. So having a having a heroin addiction nowadays, it doesn't make sense. it's, it's, it's so hard, you know yeah. what I mean? But ice, because it, it lasts for so long, yeah. it's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can be an ice addict for $150 a day, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> If you, 150 dollars. It's, like, it's like a coffee. You yeah, know, like yeah. That. 150 dollars of heroin's not getting you nowhere. You're barely making it to the afternoon. <laughs> oh, so this one's bought it up too, yo. Fifty percent of this rock garden is cigarette butts. Look, look. Oh, these sy syringe boxes. Yeah, look. At least they had those. They're getting used. They might be getting used. There's no syringes on the floor there. These are all the ones that are getting decommissioned, however you say it. But the one here is still, the, the high rise, people still live in it. Oh, really? Yeah, it does, eh, actually. Obviously refused to go into 
they get a spot. So they're just hanging around with the syringes for the time being. <laughs> yeah. Still live here, they're still active. Not sure what they're gonna do with these ones. All right, so those ones were four story ones. This one looks like it's like 15 stories, 12 stories or something. Where are we going now? Just uh, St Kilda, Windsor. St Kilda, Windsor. That's so urgent. This is the Formula One track, lad. Yeah. I remember one time we, we realised that the helicopters always go over those walkovers. We got up onto the um, top of one yeah. Yeah, yeah. and we Grab did our roof, tags, the grabbed the roofs because we're like, man, we're going to get that mad views and yeah, they yeah. are like next day covered it. Oh, so you'd have been watching us spewing. Yeah, we yeah. were like, yeah. dude, we were like, oh, what? Like, how did they even know we were up there? Yeah. And this is just open thoroughfare to the public yep. for the rest of the year. Yep. And, and these grandstands, they stay here all year or they back up because the Formula One's about to yeah, start Yeah, they pull them down. Oh, yeah. Pull them back up, they, they take about a month to put everything up. And, what, and what's here when, it, when, they're, when they're down? Just grass? Nothing. Yeah, just grass. It's yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fields, soccer fields, footy fields, oh, yeah. a lot of sport. That's sick. Yeah. Are we on the home straight here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can tell straight away, home straight. So when no one's here, it's like, guys pump it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do drags and stuff. I lived down here for like 26 years. What was oh, that tram stop there? St Kilda Station. St Kilda Station, oh yeah. Oh, and this is a big housing complex in here, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're low rise. Right at the station. Yeah, so this isn't St Kilda housing. There's a lot around, like small pockets. Yep. But this is where pretty much I grew up, 96. Yes. Everyone always said, St Kilda's like uh, Melbourne's version of King's Cross. That's exactly right. Is that, that's yep. that yeah, you think yep. of it that's like exactly that? Yeah. What that is, yeah. Which is like, uh, just like a seedy, nightlife junkie, sort of, if you don't know what King's Cross is. That's exactly. It's currently just recently got burned out. Oh, did it? So he had, he had a bit of dramas and he's off now. <laughs> oh, no way. You had a video of it. <laughs> One story I remember, this guy was cooked there. Yeah, and like he was help, help, help. It's like two in the morning. I'm listening to this guy like help, 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 and I'm like what the. So I grab a bat, I come out, I walk over. I'm like brother, you're good. He's like they're trying to get me, they're trying to get me. I'm like who, brother? Who? Like because. Oh, he's a full schizophrenic. I think he just <laughs> smoked too. I think oh, he yeah. hadn't slept for three days. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I didn't know that that's what he was doing. You know, because he seemed all right. And I remember just going. I'm like bro, you're all right. What are you like held hostage? He's like no, oh, they're after me. They're after me. <laughs> I ended up realizing. I'm like bro. You'll cook, go to sleep, bro. <laughs> Probably set his own house on fire, that's why. <laughs> you get a lot of junkies and stuff coming through here from Fitzroy Street because no one's here. So a lot of activity happens in the park. Fitzroy Street is the main street of St Kilda? Yeah. All right, yeah. Stories. Hey, Dawn. They're what are actually, you doing? They're actually three stories. What do you think made people make that comparative about St Kilda to King's Cross? So on F Fitzroy Street, is it comparable to King's Cross? Is yeah, it well, like back strip in the day, clubs? Yeah, uh, no strip clubs, yep. clubs, but clubs, um, yep. big red light district. Red light district. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. a lot of prostitution, drugs, drugs bikies? dealers. Nah, oh, nah, not really. Are bikies a thing in Melbourne, actually? They are now. They are? Definitely was Sydney first. We never really were until yeah. they all started getting like yeah, yeah, yeah. Wars, they came down here. Oh, did they? Yeah. Way more. People weren't patching up. There was, it was, it's it was non-existent. It's becoming a thing now though? 100%. Yeah. Those are the gangs. Now. The gangs now, yeah. yeah. That's what they said the same here. thing in Darwin actually. And I'm like, bro, is, I didn't think that. Yeah. And they go, nah, it's just a new thing. We think they all come from Sydney. That's yeah. what they said. If uh, I think I remember when the laws started coming in, like they, I don't know, they, there was Sydney laws. Hey. Dawn. You live here? Yeah, I live right here. Yeah, mad. What's it like living here? It's, it's all right. Is, um, it's cleaned up? Yeah, the boys are telling me it used to be bad. It used to be bad, yeah. Yeah. It used to, especially down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near the beach, there used to be like sea bars now, but it used to be like this massive club. And a lot of crime happens when a lot of people come to the beach. Yeah, yeah. And like people, like I went down and it was like really popular, like, because everyone comes down from West Side. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they all come down here to St Kilda Beach. Yeah, hang around. Yeah, and then um, I went down there. Just to walk hey, down. Dawn. Who's my twin sister? Mate, how are you? Um, yeah, we went around the corner and people just like stomping on like, massive like fights. No way. Fights, like yeah. pepper spray. All the time. All every the time. summer, yeah. Yeah, every summer. Every summer. summer. Yeah. Specifically. And like there's a lot of like, yeah, drug use here. Yeah. And we've had like people break into our house, like crackheads and shit. Oh, dead set. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like they're trying to um, gentrify, gentrify, trying to gentrify it, yeah. St Kilda. Are they? Get rid of yeah. the people there. 
anything. Yeah. You can't get rid of the people because the Gatwick, it's a hotel and it, um, it used to be for backpackers and like the block came in and developers bought it and then just kicked out all the people out the on block, the street. The block, the show. Yeah, yeah the yeah, block, yeah, the show. Yeah, 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 they yeah. Bought, the developers yeah. bought it and then kicked all the people out on the street and now they're just on the street like outside 7-Eleven. Really? Yeah, it's like It was the worst rooms. hotel in like Australia. Probably. It was really was bad. It? Yeah, yeah, it was really, really bad. So they, they, they come and they come and bought it without any plan for the people and just yeah. said, I right, get on the street now. And it went from yeah. like 8 Now the story was, so if I actually watched the documentary, so there's two ladies, they looked after it, they were great women. Yeah, great um, women. Yeah. The, the Jacks ended up putting up uh, fines, they ended up putting these laws on them and they couldn't pay the fines anymore. Oh, okay. And then they forced, the girls had to sell. Yeah, yeah, And then the block came and gentrified it. But we called it Hotel oh. Hell, that's what it was called. Yeah. Really? Hotel Hell, yeah. Oh, um, mad, mad, mad. like to primary school and I get bought, like I had a bottle thrown at me and shit from like the windows. Yeah. And, oh, like, dead set. Yeah, I've had a lot, we've had a lot of experiences as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, keep going. Go All right, man. Nice to meet you. Hotel Hell. Let's oge. <laughs> My cousin did this. It's an RIP jock. Oh, yeah? Mad. My old man, jock. Columbia knows my dad. My dad was a... Oh, your dad? My dad yeah. was an old school gangster, St. Kilda. That's how we ended up here. He yep. used to... Same crew as Chopper. Mad yep, Charlie. Yep, yep. Mad Charlie was someone that was very good friends with my dad. And I forgot about that story of Melbourne when I was just asking you before about if um, dad, like, there's Viking like, gangs stuff. here. And then I forgot there's that old... Underbelly yarn, eh? All of those dramas. All of those ones. Those were like yeah. the ones that were really kicking off. And Motorcycle clubs aren't really part of that story. Now nah, it was more areas. So like yeah. my old man with St Kilda and you know St Kilda was a yep. really, yeah, King's Cross type. It was real yeah. rough back then and yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of gangsters around. And that's where what a lot of those names and heads yep. hung around there? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Bo Jangles was down St Kilda and that's where Chopper in that movie. Oh, in the movie? He ended up, yeah. yeah Shot the lad in the car park. That's right. Yeah. That's, oh, right. that's St Kilda. Is this, this is not the main part of St Kilda? No? This is the main part of oh, yeah. Fitzroy Street. We're just Fitzroy Street, yeah, 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 yeah. What's okay. going on here? Why is it, it looks like a bunch of homeless well, people? They would be, they would be in the Gatwick. Oh, so this is that's the, Gatwick the people right of there. the Gatwick. Oh, okay. So it was a homeless hostel. Sorry. If you can't get housing you can't get and you're fresh out of jail, oh, you're going So it's here. a transition. Yeah, but there are people that yeah, really live there. Yep, yeah, yeah. And they'll tell you most of the trouble would have came from people who didn't live there. All right, so post-release crisis transitional housing. Yep, yep, yep. You're getting out of jail, you're going to hotel hell. <laughs> you wouldn't walk past here. You just, if you couldn't handle yourself, you cross the street, you go by. I mean, and look at it now. It, it looks like posh I now. This stuff, the, the fucking amount of dead death that's in this joint. Yeah, you man. know what I mean. I don't even know how you. People swear like uh, ghosts and stuff and want to hurt. Like no, well, that's crazy. Been... And look at it now. Look what they've turned it into now. Million dollar, million dollar apartments. Funny, it's turned into a backpacker place like King's Cross. Correct. That's exactly what exactly what you're saying. Now you go there. And it's it's all backpackers. This all backpackers. Yeah. Prince of Wales, any underground or even any, any hip hop act you can think of, you know, from Onyx to Gangstar to. Oh, like they, they perform there. They perform there. They oh, SB man. down there. Like a lot of rich history and hip hop acts. They come to St Kilda. Yeah. They book out these shows. Done a couple of opening acts there. I did like Lick Nuts, Onyx, Bone man, Thugs. Man. Oh, Bone Thugs have been there. Yeah. Oh, heck. They're Method Man, Red Man. Yeah, yeah. SB just around the corner. Yeah. Prince of Wales, this is the Columbia story. Uh, he's not my best mate, Columbia. They got a yarn. <laughs> so, Columbia did time down here with Maxi. They did five years, I think, and it was because of the punch on that happened at the front of this. So oh, this is where it happened. This is where it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I, finally here, Columbia, mate. Well, what did you get up to? What happened here? What happened at the Prince of Wales Hotel in Melbourne, mate? Yeah. I don't know if he's still got the actual CCTV footage of it, but I remember seeing it because he showed me it. Yeah. Basically, they got into it out here. Columbia pulls the machete, as he does, yeah. and starts to go hack on this dude. Maxi gets in the middle and he start, he accidentally chops Maxi in the, in the middle of it. So like Maxi's like, what are you doing? So they're bleeding and it goes yeah, off. Yeah, so yeah. that all lasted. They they, they dipped. Um, but because well, of who the, were they punch? Who did, just, just random? Some random, bro. Some random. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. um, yeah, they ended up doing five years. They for done them. five years for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they ended up looking after Columbia while it was here, tapping him in with some of the boys inside, and um, he met some of the boys inside. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they still know Columbia, but yeah, this is where it happened. This is why he did five years. Yeah. <laughs> Probably over nothing. Probably <laughs> someone said something. <laughs> he was quick to pull it. Yeah. So that um, boat jangles was down on the beach. Yeah. The one where Chopper shot that blow. This one used to be a nightclub called Joey's back in the day. That was yep. pretty notorious. Was it? Right here. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot worse at night. Everyone's yeah. just laying out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.
because they can't go to the Gatwick anymore. Mm -hmm. So Grey Street, well known for its uh, red light district, obviously prostitutes. Oh yeah. Um, still active, old school, one of the pioneering graffiti crews. Yep, yep, yep. There was a GS38 uh, piece. It was like the oldest piece in Melbourne. Was it? Yeah, oldest. And Down there? Yeah, they've gone over it now. Oh, have they? Yeah, but anybody who knows Graph, Future 4, GS38, and um, bro, yeah. Pioneering graph. This is. I say this whole street is like service centers. Yep. Houses. Houses. Bit of prostitution, a bit of drugs. Yep. No right. more so hood antics. At, I think this is the lane that um, QZ and Kate. Kate ended up like getting attacked. Yeah. Because of houses here or something, you yeah, know. Yeah. There's like boarding houses and shit. She ended up getting attacked. She was on the news. Massive car culture in Chapel Street. So um, every other hood comes to Chapel Street to do chap laps. Lad in the back was just saying, I won't tell you which one, but he's got his knife on him because it's like, it's a bit more serious around here. And yeah, he, was, he was talking serious. He goes, look, it's all jokes aside, I don't want to be lacking here because they get a bit stabby, so. It's time to get the M16, just <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's been hectic since day one. Has it? Here, yeah. Storm, lad. How are you? Oh yeah, I'm good. One of the boys from, uh, we went to school together. Oh yeah, yeah, hectic, hectic. What's your name? Jesse, man. Jesse, Dawn. Yeah, man. Gotta shout out the Bella boys. Yeah. Bella Club is pretty much one with St Kilda. We couldn't really go there. It's a little bit out the way, but shout out to the Bella boys, man. Bella. And it ain't Bella anymore. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah. that was a really, that was a very, very, uh, there was used to be a penny parlor there. First it was called um, Jimmy's and Little Hustlers, um, but the, the Bella boys would be there. Jimmy's is iconic. Jimmy's is iconic, yeah, so, you know. So what's that? It's a, a suburb next to St Kilda? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's its own little place. Is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a neighbourhood, alright. So Bala boys, Paran boys, we'd congregate, and um, when we'd get together, there'd be like a hundred of us, so. Yeah, yeah. That was a good thing about the cruise, yeah? It was like Windsor, Paran, Bala. You know, we could all just rock a party, you know what I mean? It we'd gatecrash always... every party, and everyone would be like, they're coming to the party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Chapel Street. Yeah, mad. So a little bit of a history lesson, like one of the first old school break dancing movements back in the, I think, 80s, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was here. It was a place called Hollywood. I'm pretty sure it was there. That building here? Like behind. Oh, behind yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, yeah, so like Hollywood was like where they first started breaking. Yeah. First graph scenes from here in St. Kilda. Uh, one really? Of the, yeah, one of the first boys had um, a place, uh, like, a, like a little club there called Big City. Some of the boys that I first started rapping, Webster, uh, family friend Richie. So those are the things that inspired me in the hip-hop scene. Yeah, All mate. the graph, all the b-boying, all the uh, DJing, all the rapping. So this is the center of that whole scene? This whole, this whole street. street? Yeah, this whole street. Yeah, mad, mad. And then um, <laughs> this used to be a pub, I think the Windsor Hotel, Windsor Railway. So that, this was a pretty hardcore hotel. Uh, Pump, yep. but now it's a bottle shop. So. Oh, so you're saying here is where everyone comes down in their cars? Yeah, cars, show off their cars, show off their bikes, show off whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. show off their push bikes? Yeah, show off their push bikes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, mate. Dawn, Hey, I like your bikes, Dawn. Dawn, lads. Yeah. <laughs> These are beasts. What do you call this type of push bike? How are you, bro? Good, good. Low riders. Low riders. They're yeah. mad, the lads. That's yeah, hectic. It looks like in a quiet school, right? Yeah, how does he write? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can hold it. Oh, God. <laughs> now, man, I'm gonna die. I hung in there, bro. Huh? Yeah. I didn't stuck it, mate. I had death wobbles at two kilometers an hour. <laughs> I think I'm a bit tall for that. The laps, the kind of the car culture was like, I don't know, when I went to George Street back in the days, yep. they used to go up and down. Yep. Not as much as here, but like, bro, it was like, it's always back to back to back. Yep, yep. Now, hardest lane. Yep. Now we get some graffiti here. Yep, yep, yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> So shout out to one of the crews is WCA. Yep. Wild they're old school. Shout out to them boys. Oh, this is all theirs. Yeah. yeah these, are, these are OGs of the graph game as well. So. Yeah. They're gun pieces, lad. So it's called Artist Lane. Yeah, these are my pieces, yeah. And there's an OG right there. Oh, yeah? And you got one of the OGs oh, here we go. It's this guy's pioneer this of uh, well, the Melbourne graffiti scene. Yeah, oh, hectic. How are you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Spanian. How are you? Good, good, good. You good. What are you doing, lad? Piecing up now? Yeah, yeah, just doing the shim. Yeah, mad. Trim players on the, on the right there. 
They were saying you're one of the OGs of the graph game down here, brother. Yeah. Oh, I'm like second generation Melbourne. Yeah. I came after like dudes like Peril, Paris, Jewel and all them. Yep, yep. <laughs> what years are we talking about here? Uh, 87 onwards. 87 onwards. And then That's OJ, lad. Again, like 96. Yeah, yeah. And just started solidly painting every two weeks. Since yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mad. For those yeah. of you that like that are wondering what it is, RDC, Rock the City. Yeah, Rock the City. FMC. Prowler, Fresh Best SBA, crew. which is like a New York crew. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever, do you ever get around spraying? Yeah, I went, Travel? I went last you went to year New overseas. Oh, you in New York? York? Yeah, yeah, sick. Europe. But has it died out, slowed down? You know, I'm 50 now, yeah. so I'm trying to pass on my knowledge to the yeah, yeah. player. And whether it's hip hop or because yeah. I produce as yeah, well, he, yep. he raps now and he was my student. Like uh, I teach, mm -hmm. so I teach music production and art. And he was one of my students. So now that I'm retiring or like slowing down yeah. and not doing as much, trying to find the younger lads, eh? Passing, passing it on. Yeah. yeah. This is monitored by Union Heights, which you know, if this lane was left to everyone, it'd be smashed. It'd be every smashed. Day, yeah. You know? yeah. So, so we try and maintain. Yeah, you know, it's like, do you know this guy? Is he all right? Yeah, so quality you know, control in the lane, eh? Yeah. Out, you know, everyone's kind of keeping the quality up, you know? Like yeah, that's smart. These internationals that come, they'll paint down here. Yeah? What's this lane called again? Artist Lane. Artist Lane, yeah. yeah. I'll take you. I think I'm going to try to ride it again. <laughs> <laughs> we just edited the other ones out. Yeah. <laughs> Good to talk to you. Check out the tunes, yeah? Yeah, it's all. Jay's Connection 2. All right, it's all. First real gang to be repping postcodes here yeah. was 3174 hectic gang in the southeast right. jfk just for kicks as well is the graph store in the middle of chapel street yeah. best stickers best stickers oh yeah this is where people come to get their yeah oh you got my side bags hectic but like the boys around here can do art sell it in here yeah that's mad that's why they used to do that that's hectic, brother. Man. Oh, that's hectic. That's hectic. That's hectic. Yeah. I remember when I was young, I had that album, Yeah, Baby. So me and my cousin started a, a crew called TKO, Total Knockout. Yeah. This was one of our best riders in it, Sincha. He's passed, he passed away now. Away. That was the, we seen him on the bridge, sprayed yeah, up. He yeah, was, uh, he was train surfing and yeah. it didn't go well. So. Oh. Yeah, so Sincha was prolific. Like, he yeah. got up everywhere, everywhere and anywhere. So. Everyone in the graph scene knows Sinch. Yeah, he was yeah, repping yeah. TKO, total a knockout for a while. Great artist, very like took his art like a graffiti actually and started to monetize. I don't think we have time to really go down there right now, but I'm gonna shout out the Bank Street Flats. That's the one that got full gentrified. It's been knocked down. The apartments are already up and yeah. they're completed. Bank Street was down there, those flats. Yeah. Chapel Street was the congregation for all the hoods to come down. Yep. And then you've just got Paran Flats in the bang middle of it. So all the hoods around here, including some of them we've been through, this is the spot for them to kick back. Yeah. Everyone's chilling here. Because there's, there's more action here. Yeah, and, and there's all there. This is the spot, cars, punch-ons, graffiti, yep. Yep. everything all like that. All, that all the brake crews dancing all back in the days. All of it. And the, and the flats and then the down flats the bang back in like the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you end up coming out, like a few of the boys are drinking, they come out onto Chapel, Yo. get into it with whatever group. What's Revs? Revolver, it's open 24 hours all weekend. Oh yeah, what yeah. is it, a club? Yeah, it's, it's where you club, go yeah. when you can't get in oh. anywhere. That's where the fairies <laughs> are. Hard to get in, yeah, they're Revolver. Oh, Revolver it's Lane. The like are out the front. Yeah. Oh, 24 7 all club, weekend, eh? All weekend. Oh, yeah, no all way. You're all, you're three days up, that's where you are. Yeah. The things that people in Sydney are crying for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Monday morning, they come and see the sunlight. Mate, you could come here Monday morning and watch them all come. No all way. Yeah. No yeah. way. <laughs> That'd be cracked up. feel good about yourself. <laughs> like, this street's mad, lad, actually. Yeah, this street is hectic. Just, just the amount of people, the amount of like shops and the cultural feeling in the street. Yeah, yeah. You can feel, you can feel a, a cultural sense to the street. It's not just a, a bland shop street, you know? So now we start to get into like the real heart. Yup, yup. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> brother, if you had that car in Sydney, it'd be impounded in like oh, three seconds. Uh, yeah, brother. Yeah, uh, uh, they tried, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Do they? They tried, yeah. 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 
even without the bouncy in cars, just like how the, the, the form factor yeah, of it, it's straight yeah. in the cop shop. Nah. <laughs> hey, the dog's in the backpack yeah, now. I just noticed, like. <laughs> 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 Look at that. So this this is the start of praying flats here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, mad. It's in a mad spot, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, Carly. The people watching don't know that I've got an Australian bestseller book sold out in Australia in nine days, and then the fucking company that sells it didn't want to sell it no more. So it's rare. You can sell that on eBay. You can sell that on eBay for 500 bucks. They're rare, those books now. So all roads lead to Paran. Yeah. Basically, and that's why, because look at the, you walk out and you're there. And that's why. No, it's in a mad spot. That's why. Right. Come from the bottom of that street into, into here, it's mad. And so what we, there'd be like from every hood, yep. South Melbourne, Bala, St Kilda, Windsor, we're in here drinking. Mad. And then, we out, and then we head out to the Chapel Street and it's on a cracker. Mad. If you weren't from here, you just could not walk through the flats. It's not jail. It's not jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. That little um, minimum security detention center in there. <laughs> so, you can't, wait, you can't work out like uh, normally, you know what I mean? Welcome to the Paran Flats. Yo. Lots of love here, lots of brotherhood, lots of family. Cage of death. Cage of death, so lad. We bring everybody in and then the, only the strong Cage survive. No. WrestleMania? Yeah, yeah WrestleMania. WrestleMania, lad. So as you can see, you can just see Chapel right there. Yeah, so we're right there on Chapel. We're pretty much on Chapel Street. 100%. So Such a mad spot, bro. What, a, what would normally happen is like we, back in the day, we're all just drinking in here. It might be 50 of us, 100 of us. Yo. One of the boys goes down to KFC, which is just there, gets into it. As you can see, it's right there. So they'll be like, boys, boys, boys. 50, 100 running out of the chapel. Oh, yeah? Pumping whoever it was, yeah. whatever crews yeah. coming back in. Going in, ganking them all, coming back. Ganking them. You know, like, oh, yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah, Because it, it was too hard. They're only coming down with maybe 50, 20 people. Yeah. But then it's like 50, 60 yeah, of us yeah. and always drinking and everyone just like, bang, pump them, leave yeah. them. So that's why it was always on. His, yeah. his GT's yeah. Golden Triangle was like a notorious billiards place. Yeah. Um, the older boys were there. We it was still there when we were around. He can tell some stories. But yeah, there was uh, there was <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan Brown is an OG for our boys older than us. He was uh, there, but Golden Triangle. I remember there was. I don't really even know. It's your hood, bro. Yeah, 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 it is my hood. Yeah. Oh look, a lot of things happened. You know, I'm busting to go to the toilet though, like, <laughs> really badly. But yeah, no, you know, back then, you know, like it was a lower demographic area, obviously. Yeah. You know, we got the crews, different places, come down, try to take over, and then we sort of stand our ground. Yeah. Um, back then, country road bags, machetes, yeah, you name it. That's all we had. So you're saying lads came down here trying to take over? Oh, yeah, well, it was yeah. a bit of, yeah. a bit of just, just just territory, you know. Yeah. Um, Does they get pumped yeah. and come back? Yeah. In this very court right here, I did a one-on-one -on -one with a guy. Had a one-on-one. -on -one. They closed the gate. Everyone surrounded the gates. He got me into solarplex. Winded me. He's gonna love this. He winded me. I was out. My mate jumped the fence. Just beat him with a pole. Yeah. But, you know, it was something where I didn't like it because it made me look like a bitch, obviously, yeah. you know, but yeah, man, he got me good, man, a solar plex, I was like, man, I couldn't move. But, you know, uh, back but then, old school, he had like the whole triad yeah, there, man, yeah, back yeah. to the... I tied and, you know, tied Oh, up. did you? Yeah, 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 some guy, Vietnamese guy, had his hair chopped off, I believe. Yeah. Bit, of a, bit of a story, was yeah. told, that you know? That golden triangle? Yeah, golden triangle, but yeah, then no, I had friends, we had a few other altercations where chopping's happened. But yeah, man. A lot yeah. of like, because back then, like 20 years ago, it was like Asian pride. Yeah, like, yeah. It was just Asians, choppings. Um, That's it, even around here, heaps of Asians. Yeah. yeah. It's like it was just on like a lot of vets from here. Yep. Ho is one of my best mates. Ho did a really good job of like transitioning um, into like youth work and he helped a lot of the kids from here for like 20 years, did it for ages, man. Yeah, and like, you know, so he really did a lot for the, the youth. But he really made it out legit. But yeah, country road bags, artillery bag of just like seven trolley poles, yeah. three machetes, <laughs> nunchucks. Oh yeah, like, we just rock up and. So I won't name the gang names. The people came and looking for you guys. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. And we're in the park. It's all tan bark, like, and they all hid like everywhere you stood. Like if you flicked it, like a machete would flick up. So everyone was ready. Oh, everyone no was way. standing in the park. Like, like, they were just back. chilling. Yeah, coming yeah. back from retaliation, <laughs> and it's like, well, we'll just wait. Yeah, yeah. We'll just wait. And then we've, think, we've got nothing. Well, they'll think, oh, that's nothing. But then we'll just yeah, wait. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to pay respects to the people that aren't here, Fran. You know, yeah. rest in peace to a lot of the brothers, man. A oh, lot yeah, of them are gone. Yeah. 
close one of ours, Ruben, was one of our, yeah, one yeah, of our closest, yeah, like you know, he was our five eight. Yeah. Everywhere we roll, he protected all of us, man. Yeah. Showed so much love. Yeah. A bit like you, Spannon. Yeah, he was a know. unit, man. He was a big boy. Yeah, yeah he's, but, he was exactly like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, man, all, many others, you know, but yeah. Praise, just shout out to all yeah, the people praise, that around. Yeah, Flanders, yeah, Jimmy, so many Flanders, Jimmy. I mean, yeah, anybody yeah, else, like, because there's a lot of Baraka. There's so many people that have passed, even Reece All those boys from here, huh? Yeah. Even just from surrounding areas. From surrounding areas, yeah. We all know them, and there's just been a lot of boys that have just passed away. That was the good thing about here, the Kim life. Even though people were from like St Kilda, everyone still came here together and like yeah. There's no social media. Yeah. Yeah. Just show space for a second. He was part of the crew back in the days. Yeah, he, he was around. Like one of the first like times that the boys passed was a big car chase. Hey, it was George, all over the news, and um, oh, they ended up crashing, oh, and three of the boys no. passed, and he was one of them, and oh, he yeah. survived, and and Tane. So yeah, they yeah, they yeah. actually survived that. That we were really young. We were like 15, 16. Um, so rest in peace, Trasham. Um, trash, 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 trash. Uh, and Swerve, man. Yeah. Rest in peace to Swerve first. Carl. If it wasn't overdoses, it was murdered. You know, like it was. Uh, they're in jail. Like, there's a lot of boys that haven't just. They're still working it out, or they're not here with us. So you know, we want to make yeah. sure we give that homage. You know what I mean? One of the young boys ended up getting locked for <laughs> locking, uh, PK. 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 Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, so like, oh, imagine yeah. the cops holding a gun to your head, telling you, let go of his neck, bro. Yeah. And this, he said, I oh, didn't want to do it. And when he did. Pissed out blood and died. Ah, good. It's traumatized from it, man. Yeah, bro. That's, no, yeah, how like, young was that's heavy. Huh? How young was the kid that got locked? Oh, man, 13. Yeah, bro. He ended up not getting 13. 13, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Just got sick of getting bullied. Yeah. No way. Went up and just jabbed him one. Yeah, knocked yeah. one of the old As well as back in the day, we used to have. A 13 year old lad. Yeah. We used to have access to the roofs and we used to have a lot of jumpers. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you just can't get up there now? No, not anymore, but I remember. I was standing with a friend's uh, little brother and this guy just fell in front of me and it was just disgusting man, it's flat. Yeah, they shut that shit down as well. Yeah. The they had guys, to. People used to chuck trolleys off their TVs and shit. <laughs> yeah, man, stupid like, shit, eh? So, yeah, yeah, stupid yeah. shit, man. What do I, this is Claria, she's 100% hey, like the best female rapper yeah. in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Check her out. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So you've got... Oh, what's the name, what's the name? Claria Boss. Oh, right. So you've got two of the best uh, rappers in Australia, Fact. including Spanion, the third. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so everyone forgets that I used to rap ah, before I was a YouTuber. <laughs> and I want to give the, and I want to give a shout out to Colombia because that's how I came across Spanion when it was crooked uh, hypnotics. And he would send me the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you first started shooting, he said there was one in a train tunnel. Yeah. Well, like old school stuff. So Saying what he's talking about, he's all have no idea. When I got out of jail, I want to start rapping on YouTube before I knew what was going on. And yeah. She's she's from here. So yeah, she's one of the best rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She grew up right there. So, you know, we're trying to uplift our community. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what No Plan B is about. You know, so I'm just trying to Did help you try to show yeah. something yeah, on your back? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just showed us something. It was on my hoodie. <laughs> so mentioning Rubes, I actually have a um, music video co uh, coming out called Ruben, and it is about Rubes and um, that awesome. whole song. Yeah. So that's going to be on YouTube too, man. Check it out. Little Jace Ruben, and it's a mad song. Yeah, heck, we shot it here, bro. Spent a lot of time in jail, 16, 17 years. Yeah, have you? I've had a little bit of a vacation from Paran. <laughs> Come yeah. here and I meet all these new people. Every time you get out, it's all new heads? It's all new heads. Yeah, yeah. same, same yeah. stories. Same oh, stories. Yeah. They knocked them down. Yeah. What? Yeah. They're knocking down everything. They're knocking, yeah. in four years time, they're going to knock down everything and build ones like this. Oh yeah, over there. Like the ones over there, yeah. So where it's fenced off here, they're this was new ones. The, well, this, this was, was uh, this was high rises like, like this. this. Mm -hmm. What made them specifically knock this one down? You reckon, as opposed, were, they, were these the worst ones? They were probably one of the first here and the ones at, at the, the back. back yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Rise, you see, there's still walk ups around. Yeah. But they're going to knock all them down. Uh, now they've just rebuilt them, and they're half government, half private. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, that's what they're doing. So they uh, half, half house, oh, half private. Yeah. So they're sort of spreading out the ghetto in a say, lad. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. they do everywhere. But they're beautiful flats. Yeah, are they? Yeah, I went inside. Uh, yeah. In construction work. Yeah, he's in. Solar powered CCTV. Go on. Go on, Angies. We ended up having Richmond boys. It was an issue that transpired, and we heard they were coming down. About 30 of the Richmond flat boys came down, there's about 30 of us here. And um, it was supposed to just be a chat, but we didn't know if they were coming armed or whatever. We just stooped all the machetes in here. Oh, so yeah. about 30 just cover a cover. We ended up chatting it out. It was funny because everyone said, what up, what up? 
obviously there was a few boys that didn't see eye to eye, mm -hmm. but it would have been a bloodbath had it gone off, bro. I don't, they never knew that we just had it yeah, yeah. Stuke, but this was, we'd all just kind of like wait for them to come in. Stuke and, yeah. you know, there was a lot of retaliation back in the day coming out, so. And as you can see, you know, all of this was flat. Yeah. It rises, a lot of memories. Um, it's sad, bro. Yeah, just a lot of gentrification. Yeah. A lot of the boys had their yeah, houses they're here. making money off it. You can buy some. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, yeah, he was saying it's half private. Half private, Half yeah. private. So it's mixed in. How's that in private? Yeah. Cool. That's Look what they do. They the do that everywhere. Stuff. Now, they do that everywhere. They're doing that in Sydney because what their idea is, is that uh, if you have too many houses together, that's what creates a ghetto. So if you spread them out amongst richer people, then it can't create like that situation. So that that's the logic. Yeah, yeah. Until they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people start moving out, yeah. they're like, they're like Fuck well, who's my neighbour? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we kick it here, we kick it in then, and here's just up here, one of the, the last spots that we'd all kick it in. Right, in the, the 80s, then, before they had those windows up there, that's where they used to jump. Oh, yeah? As a kid, I used to walk under the flats, I was too scared to walk on the outside because I was scared a body was going to drop. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's back in the 80s. Ah. Heroin and hip-hop. Heroin and hip-hop. Ah. Why is there an extremely violent pit bull down there? We <laughs> got a dog with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we'd all be drinking yeah. up here, just kick it back. Sometimes you just got this whole area packed yeah. out again. Hundred of us yeah. kick it back, drinking. Oh, fucking heaps of flats. Yeah. All down there were flats. Bro, I was thinking it was one. No, so, so it would have been what three? How many? Uh, no, About one, three. Two, three, four, five, six. There was like five, oh, legit. Five, seven, eight, like more, ten. Oh, because yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. In the Ruben music video, I filmed in those flats particularly, mm -hmm. so you will see it, but like, bro, it's just. And what about these ones? These ones. These ones are still active, they're, they're still, still going. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. No rumors that they're disappearing? I don't know, bro. I, I just feel like I don't know how they're going to knock these down. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They can't. They can't. They can't. Yeah. Still active. Yeah. There's too many people uh, relying on this place. In Sydney, the way it worked when they done that, and I think it might have a same approach, is they do put them somewhere else temporary, and they do have them to go back in there unless they have drug convictions. Oh, okay. So that's how they work. So, so it's like, yeah, if you have a drug conviction, you're staying in that. Yeah, they chuck you in the western suburbs, and everyone who behave while they live there come back in, and all the criminals stay out there. That's that's the way they do it. So it might be the same here. All right, we're going up into the flats here. Oh yeah, I forgot the security. Oh, there's not? Alright, oh, sweet. Just the ones walking around, yeah. those? Yeah, yeah. There was two brothers from our hood, the yep. Pappas brothers, and they ended up going world famous. Yeah. And they ended up taking on Tony Hawk. No way. Yeah, from here. And this is where they were. That's there. where they used to skate? Yeah, but yeah, Tony mate. Hawk. Um, because they were skaters and... Tony Hawk's a dirty rat, I don't like it. Oh yeah? He took the f***ing 900 from, from Tass, man. Because Tass was practicing that shit for months. Yeah, it's like he did it. One of the boys did the 900 first. No way. And then Tony Hawk. Yeah. yeah. So he made it a thing to go do it like all on camera. Just, yeah. to, just to get yeah. in there quick. And he, fucking, yeah, one of them ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were Dirty. brothers from here and they, they full went to the tops. Like, yeah. first Tony yeah. Hawk. One of them passed, one of them got locked. Like, they were him. Yeah. The documentary is called All, all This Mayhem. All is mayhem. Yeah, so yeah. man, if you want to look that up, you'll yo, see yo, yo. That. That's yeah, crazy. That That's a, a mad story. That was a skate park. You know, is like, skate culture something in Melbourne? Back then yeah, it was. Back then, yeah. Even now it is down. Yeah. 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 Mad skaters. Because so skating much. always got, went hand, or oh, um, from what, where I'm from, hand in hand with graffiti. Yes, to a certain yeah. sense. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there was a festival called Chapel Street Fest. So imagine Chapel Street on a festival. Yeah. From Windsor all the way up. Yeah. So they shut it down because it was getting too violent. Because There'd be like a hundred of us. Yeah, yeah. Belting everybody. And out. the festival was what type of festival? Music festival? Uh, everything. Every food. food. Oh, yeah. Chapel yeah. Street. That's mental. Chapel Street. Yeah. Chapel Street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chapel Street. Chapel Street. Running around. They, they just, That'd they be shut sick. They shut sick. Well, how often? Once a year? Once a year. Once a year. That's yeah. mad. Yeah. They had some of our boys old school, yeah. getting older generation, got into it with, with police. Yeah, they had yeah. And cave these, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and after they? that, like a lot of police got hurt, and they were like, "We can't do this anymore." Because every Chapel Street festival was just hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hundred, hundred yeah. cats would we'll be at the fucking bowl. Yeah, hundred percent. Punch it on. We'd be punching on with each other. Did that have a yeah. name? That that skate that bowl? Nah, nah. It was just Paran Skate Park. Paran Skate Park. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was only a bowl back in the day. Oh, it, it so, was a bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah the half pipe and yep. the b
you know, so. That's, now, the, that's the old half pipe, it's all rusted out. Yeah, that's yeah. the same one, so they're replacing that? Yeah, they're yeah. gentrifying that whole thing, mate. All right, yeah. So yeah, they'll have basketball courts there and all that. And I see there's flats straight across there too. Yeah, what? that's more flats. Thanks for yeah. the, uh, what's it, Bank Street? Oh, yeah. Bank Street, I think yep. that can be broke up. They put more elderly over there. Yeah. Fucking oath, boys. Let's see it South Melbourne to Bram Flats. What's going on? Thank you, boys. You're a big class. Where else? Much love, man. Man, laters, laters. Let's go.